Hi guys! Once again, this is Sir Janelle and uh, welcome to our English class. But before anything else, would like to acknowledge and thank the ones who prepared our PowerPoint presentations for the next two lessons that we will have. Ma'am Angelin Chiki Mendoza and Ma'am Teresa Ann Pineda. So let's begin with our quarter four week one lesson. English 8, quarter 4 modules, 1 and 2. Using appropriate grammatical signals or expressions suitable to each pattern of idea development. So under this, we will talk about the patterns general to particular, claim and counterclaim, problem solution, and cause effect. So here we can see an article or a passage made by Jaisal Ann S. Ravelo, Bulacan, Home of Great Treasures. So please take time to read this article. Okay, and now let's answer the following questions. What is the main idea of the paragraph? What are the details that support the main idea? What are the signal words used in the paragraph? Now, why did we ask these questions? Because it leads us to what a paragraph is. Paragraph is a group of sentences about a certain idea or topic. We know that a sentence is a group of words. Paragraph is a group of sentences, but these sentences must be in sync. It, it must be about a certain idea or topic. A paragraph is also considered as one of the building blocks of essays and all other genres of prose. And its purpose? To express a speaker's thoughts on a particular point in a clear way that is unique and specific. Now let's talk about structure. Paragraph structure. This refers to the main parts of your paragraph. So what are the three main parts of our paragraph? First, we have the topic sentence. Second, the supporting sentences. And third, concluding sentence. So when we say topic sentence, this presents the main idea of the paragraph. It is usually found at the beginning, but can also be stated in the middle or the end. The topic sentence directs and summarizes the paragraph. How about supporting sentences? From the word itself, they support the topic sentence, the main idea of the paragraph. They provide details, facts, explanations, examples, etc. to expand and discuss the topic sentence. How about concluding sentence? From the word itself, it concludes, it sums up the ideas in the paragraph. Usually, it restates the main idea and sometimes provides conclusions about the paragraph. So once again, when we say paragraph structure, this refers to the main parts of your paragraph. And what are the three main parts of our paragraph? Topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. Now, idea development and organization is very important because for our paragraph to be an effective one, we sh it, it should be unified. It should be clear, coherent, and well-developed. So we should do well remember that in developing our ideas, we can use different patterns so from this point we will discuss those different patterns in idea development the first one general to particular we'll also discuss claim and counterclaim next problem solution and cause effect 
let's talk about general to particular or in other word for particular is a specific pattern so let's see how it goes we can see an inverted triangle so on top general idea at the bottom particular or specific ideas because general to particular pattern is also known as deductive method we may start our paragraph with a broad topic followed by supporting details we can provide examples explanations descriptions about the topic now signal words or transitions can also be used to express general and particular ideas so what are those signal words or transitional signals that we can use in this regard so here are the list of the words that we can use to signal general statements generally primarily largely in general well for major details we can use the words first second third and so on signal words used for particular ideas specifically particularly for instance and so on so what do we need to do with this list? Familiarize, familiarize ourselves with this list of signal words for general statements, major details, and particular ideas. Let's have an example. General idea, smoking is dangerous to your health. Particular or specific idea, smoking can cause illnesses like cancer, respiratory problems, and other chronic diseases. So we can use a transition word or a signal for our general idea. If we go back to the previous um, page, you can see that we can use generally smoking is dangerous to your health. We can do so. How about for particular or specific idea? We can use the signal word particularly Smoking can cause illnesses like cancer, respiratory problems, and other chronic diseases. Or we can also use for instance or the word for example. So that is how we do the general to particular pattern of our paragraph. Now let's have an activity. Choose from general idea and particular specific idea so all you have to do is to choose or to write g or p number one mr and mrs lopez worked hard to provide for their children g or p general or particular the answer general because it did not specify the details how they work hard or they provide for their children number two mr and mrs lopez work overtime to provide for their three sons and two daughters general or particular the answer particular because in this sentence we can see that the way they provide for their children was already specified they work overtime Number three, Lauren has a sweet tooth. General or particular? The answer, general. Why? Because it was not specified. How we say Lauren has a sweet tooth. But try to look at number four sentence. Lauren loves eating sweets, especially chocolates and ice cream. Obviously, this is particular. Because now it specifies the sweets that Lauren loves to eat. And number five, every Saturday I go to the supermarket to buy my weekly supplies like food and toiletries. General or particular? Particular. Because this sentence gives details. It's very specific. Let's now proceed to the second pattern. Claim and counterclaim. So when we say claim, 
This refers to a person stand. Please do remember that. Claim refers to a person stand on a certain subject or issue. Whereas a counterclaim pertains to the opposing viewpoint on a topic or a stand. Opposing viewpoint. Let's have the signal verbs for claims. We have verbs agree, claim, conclude, discuss, illustrate, observe, say, and so on. Here are the signal words or verbs for counterclaims. Argue, refute, disagree, oppose, contradict, however, and so on. So, all you have to do once again is to familiarize yourselves with these terms or signal words for verbs for claims and for words for counterclaims. Now to show evidence from other resources, you may use the following transitions as well. Now, here's an excerpt of an article and please notice how the author effectively used grammatical signals. What are the grammatical signals that he used? For claims and counterclaims, we have the words according to, obviously this is a claim, based on, a claim again, it's often believed that even though, here's another word but, which shows counterclaim, point, and this word show claim and counterclaims. So please always take note of the words or the signal words that express claims and counterclaims. Choose from C, uh, claim or counterclaim. CL or CC. Number one, Aristotle and Ptolemy believe that the earth is the center of the universe. Is it a claim or counterclaim? Remember claims are a person's stand about an issue. Counterclaim opposing idea. The answer? It's a claim. Let's look at number two. However, this was refuted by Nicholas Copernicus who proposed that the solar system is sun-centered. Claim or counterclaim? The answer? Counterclaim. With the presence of the word or signal word however. Number three, famous scientist Galileo Galilei proved the heliocentric theory of Copernicus when he observed the movement of the heavenly bodies with the use of his telescope. Claim or counterclaim? The answer? Claim. Unlike the second sentence, this did not contradict or oppose any idea. So this is a claim by Galileo Galilei. Number four, Johannes Kepler agreed with Copernicus and, I st and stated that all planets orbit the sun in an elliptical path. Claim or counterclaim? The answer, claim. So we are done with the first two patterns of idea development general to particular, claim and counterclaim, which is part of our module number one. We will now proceed with module number two, which discusses the other two patterns of idea development. And they are problem and solution, cause, effect. So let's talk about problem and solution first. This is a pattern of organization where the idea of the passage is showed as a dilemma or problem. And something that needs to be done to remedy this issue is the solution. It's very sub-explanatory. Problem, the dilemma concerning issue. Solution, the remedy. So here are the signal words and phrases. Please familiarize yourselves with these words.
Examples Problem the fire destroyed the school building Solution The school thereby requested the Department of Education for a new building Problem Due to the increasing number of cases caused by the virus, still many of us are ignoring the health protocols set by the Interagency Task Force or IATF Solution Therefore, we should listen to the government and follow the health protocols to lessen the number of cases. Problem The weather is too cold to grow crops all year long. Solution So it leads to the idea that greenhouse is a special building that stays warm during winter. Let's have a matchmaking activity. The problem The solution Number 1. Peg had a cold. The answer. According, accordingly, she took medicine. Number 2. Rob was hungry. What is the solution? So he ate two bowls of soup. Number 3. John tore his paper. That's the problem. The solution is. Hence, he used tape to fix it. Number 4. The garden had weeds. That's the problem. So what's the solution? E. So mom pulled the weed. Number 5. Ted's bedroom was messy. The solution is, therefore, he picked his toys up. So that is how problem-solution pattern can be used for idea development. And finally, let's talk about our fourth type of pattern of idea development cause and effect relationship cause refers to the driving force or the reason why things happen so that's our keyword there reason well the effect refers to the result of an action or cause so our keyword here result cause is the reason effect is the result cause is the why effect is the what here are our signal words. So here's an example. The present pandemic leads to global economic shutdown. Hence, many employed workers were dismissed for their work. Question to ask in mind. Two questions. First, the why. Why were many em employed workers dismissed from their work? Answer to that question because of the present pandemic that leads to global economy. Question to ask in mind, what? What is the outcome of the pandemic shutdown? Answer to that question, hence many employed workers were dismissed from their work. So the WH question used, why, which is the cause. The WH question used, what, which shows the effect. Signal word in the sentence, there's no signal word for the cause, yet for the effect, we can see the signal word hence. Let's have another exercise for cause and effect. Number one, the car would not start because it ran out of gas. Cause or effect? Because it ran out of gas. Obviously, because of the signal word because, the answer is cause. Number two, because she did not see the well. Cause or effect? Obviously, it's the cause again. Number three, due to the uncontrollable price increase. Cause or effect? The answer, cause. Because of the word due to or the phrase due to. That's your signal. Number four, she studied well in it. The answer, effect. You can see here that the first part of the sentence talks about the cause. So automatically, the next part, plus trying to understand the meaning of the sentence, talks about the effect. And number five, Tasha was quiet because her sister was sleeping. The underlined part of the sentence, obviously. So this ends our discussion of our quarter 4 modules 1 and 2. 
And at this point, I would like to acknowledge the diligence of the following students. From Carnation, we have Angelica Cañete, Rain Hosson, April De La Rosario, David Ezequiel Fajardo, Cassandra Cailipan, Jasmine Camwa, Patricia De La Cruz, Mariel Caponpon, Isabel Claro, Fiona Nicole Camwa, and Jervin Sniper. And for Daisy, we have J.V. McKeeling, Nian Jenna Lopez, James Alfonso, Altea Caperal, and R.J. Manlangit. Keep it up guys!